Hello, Sellers Heights family. <laughs> it's good to be here. You know, happy July 1st, 2024. Um, what a year already that we're seeing. And I know it's just going to get more exciting. But I, I wanted to let people know I was gone for a month. I, I usually do that every year during summer because we have family events and we this was no exception so i was gone in june it was it was nice to have the phone calls from so many of you checking up on me to see if i was all right and that was so touching so sweet so thank you yes we're good we are ready to go for the rest of the year and we've got some good programs i think lined up to share with you i want to thank all of you oh some of, uh, some of the other comments that came in while i was gone um that we heard they they said, um, okay, is this all you do is solar size? And yes, this is, this is all I do. Um, question is like, are you really 67? I'll be 68 in a couple or a few months. I said, yes, that I'm, I'm really going to be 68. I don't lift weights. I don't have a lot of big muscles, but you know, it's solar size is all solar size. As my son can testify, he does it too. Um, it's a, uh, Phenomenal program. I think it's the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. I think part of the reason for that is when we think in terms of hardening of the arteries as being the number one degenerative disease as we get older. I think a lot of that has to do with the blood chemistry in our body. When the body becomes acidic and those blood cells get sticky, it's harder to pump those sticky blood cells through the capillaries. So the capillaries shrink. Body functions lose circulation and they're compromised and we develop weaknesses in the body. We get on a cellar sizer and we've seen this several times. As we move up and down on a cellar sizer, the blood cells have that sodium potassium pump. They're positively and negatively charged, just like a battery. And as you move up and down, they generate an electrical field around the outside of the cell membrane, generally within three to five minutes. That electrical field then separates the cells from each other. So instead of being sticky, they're now separated. The movement up and down helps to feed more fluid and circulation, nutrients, oxygen, through the cell membrane itself, imbibing them with more fluid. And now as we're moving up and down, we're moving those individual blood cells more effectively through the capillaries as we pump with the heart. I don't think there's anything else that, out there that is, comes close to what cellular size can do. You say, well, why can't I do a treadmill? Why can't I jog? Why can't I do these other exercises? Because there's a ballistic impact or jarring effect that shatters the nervous system and causes the body to tense up. Cellular size opens up the body. And it's, it's important, and this, this is critical because I get people all the time, well, why, why the cellular size or why can't I use any other rebounder? They're not all built the same. It's important to have resistance and then release. Resistance and then release. If we don't have another, enough resistance and release, what happens is the body becomes more and more compacted. And as it compacts, we get more pressure on the joints, achy feelings in our, in our knees, our hips, our back. Um, and we've got some great customer reviews I'm, that are coming in. And, and I thank you for sharing those. So it's not going to just be coming from me. It's going to be coming what, with what some of the doctors and other people have actually seen and experienced in their own personal lives. That compaction is accumulative, and then it becomes more and more painful, and you don't feel as good. And the compassion can be on the joints. It can be on the lymphatic system, the circulatory system. So here's how it works. With the cellar sizer, for example, Without jarring, we create resistance. The resistance is what puts the pressure on the cell membrane, causing the cell to fortify its membrane with more protein because it doesn't want to rupture. But after the resistance, then we have the release. Well, the lymphatic system holds a negative pressure, so movement causes suction. So the reason this is so effective is that you're applying weight, and then when we release, the suction can pull that circulation between the bones, joints, and tissue spaces of the body again. And so we have this constant um, re uh, resistance, suction, 
if you will resistance suction resistance suction and that movement is constantly increasing that circulation through the body parts and functions i believe that has a lot to do with how effective solar sizing is okay that's not really what i was going to talk about but somebody else asked is your hair real it's, it's kind of funny funny source it's, Jess, is my hair real? Yeah. <laughs> my hair is real. It's, it's my hair. And, and I am so grateful for it. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little gray now, you know. But, uh, and I've mentioned uh, my, my grandfather on my mom's side was totally bald by the time he was in his 20s, 30s. He was just totally bald. So I'm grateful. And, I, and Dr. Morton Walker, when we were lecturing at a university, actually said, David, oh, no. Somebody from the audience asked the question, does it do anything for, to help prevent hair loss? And I said, well, we don't have any reviews on that. Um, and then Dr. Morton Walker stood up and said, he gave the reasons why he believed it did. And I was really grateful for that. Okay, so um, the common question, really do you just do 10 minutes a day? And I say, okay, guys, let's, if we look at typical exercise, it takes a lot longer than 10 minutes because you have to work all the different muscle groups and body parts. Who's got time for that? We, most of us don't, especially in the world today. So if we were to look at it from the typical methodology of exercise, if I took and I applied 10, 20, 30% more weight, 100 times a minute on this bicep, and I did 100 of those a minute for 10 solid minutes, Nobody's going to argue. Great exercise for that muscle. Now you got to do this one and all the other body parts and functions. We don't have time for that, most of us. What well, was cellar size, instead of lifting that weight away from gravity over and over, we're increasing the weight of gravity over and over. And for those of you who have a cellar sizer, if you step on the cellar sizer and you grab these muscles up here and you bounce up and down, you're going to feel that weight on those cells every time you come down to the bottom of the bounce. You grab the deltoids, you're gonna feel the weight, a lot of weight on those muscles right here. That's going on through every single cell membrane in your entire body. Every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen. How do you get a skin cell to do a push-up? Put it under weight over and over. It becomes more resistant to the weight. It's when they get weak that gravity begins to win. Okay, so my son gave me a couple cute jokes um one is i really wasn't in to organ transplants until i had a change of heart that's cute thank you jess <laughs> all right okay another one he says i hopped on a treadmill until i got some really strange looks and then i decided to jog instead and that fits beautiful with the cellar sizer. You can't hop on a treadmill, but you certainly can do it on a cellar sizer. Okay, so we're gonna read through some customer reviews. I haven't had a chance to look at any of these today. Um, been a good busy day and we'll have questions. If you have any questions, by all means, um, submit them. Justice is in the background. He will feed those questions to me and I'd be happy to answer them. Welcome to the Seller Size family. I've had some great phone calls today. We're going to talk about some of those. One from a lady in Switzerland, which uh, I had a chance to talk with this morning. I'm talking about curvature in the back and what we can do for um, um, helping to straighten out, um, out the back from things like scoliosis. Okay, and oh, I wanted to say thank you again to to the doctors and health practitioners who have joined us. And those, I mean, most of them are very humble, good. They really care about their patients. They will share with me information if I'm on track or if I'm a little off track. And they're very supportive and they work with us. Many of them are out there helping to support and build awareness of the solar sizer. So again, I wanna say thank you to all of those health practitioners and to each one of you as part of the cellular size family because you're the ones that make it work. For those of you who know, we are so loud again of half-fold cellular sizers. You can pre-order 
Our last production was sold out before it was even completed. So if you want to pre-order a Cellar Sizer now at the old price, we haven't raised it yet, go ahead and pre-order the Cellar Sizers. We expect to ship them out next month. So it's not that, not that far off. Um, Trifold Cellar Sizers, they are going fast. <laughs> and unfortunately, we'll probably be out of those by the time we get the the half holes in. So this whole industry has changed. At least it has for us. It's like a, it's like a teeter totter. It's just, it's not the same. Our quality of our materials, as many of you know, who have recently received their half fold solar sizers, five folds. Um, it's a well-built unit. It's a unit you're going to be using more than likely for the rest of your life. And that's, that's what we want. And for those who, whose units need to be Quiet it down. I show you how to quiet a cellar sizer down on our website um, under the care and maintenance section. So if your cellar sizer is sounding squeaky, you can get on it. And it's not hard to, to work on let, uh, breaking it in so it's, it's not squeaky anymore. All right. Reviews. Manchu writes, just want to say thank you for your cellar sizer, which has been a big game changer for me. I've struggled with idiopathic neuropathy and exercising on the cellar sizer helps me on a daily basis. My tingling has not gone away, but the tingling intensity has subsided and I'm, I'm able to sleep much better. I have also improved my balance tremendously. Now I can stand still on one le leg on the cellar sizer and fold, fold the other into my thigh and stand still on the cellar sizer for a whole minute on each leg. Congratulations, Simanchu. When I started, I could not even ma manage two seconds. Secondly, my blood pressure has, been significant, has seen a significant improvement without any medication, which has surprised my doctor. And remember, as we're moving up and down, as those valves are opening and shedding, we're coming down, they're open. As we come up, they close, but the pressure up against back flushes the valve, helping to open up the capillaries and the blood vessels as, as well. So thank you for everything that you do and to help us live a healthier lifestyle. Thank you, Himanshu. Shelly writes, every now and then while sleeping, I am awakened by a strange electric impulse feeling in my leg or my feet. I had thought, I had the thought come into my mind to go do a health bounce on my cellar sizer. It took it away. Due to a lot of company, I hadn't been cellar sizing for a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, Shelly, thanks for sharing. Cindy writes, thank you, Dave, for your patience and consistency in sharing your knowledge and by your example. Thank you, Cindy. All of you make it worth it. People often, and this is another question that comes up, and they say, how come I'm answering the phones during the day? Why don't I have a staff answering phones? Well, we do have people that answer the phones occasionally, but, but my joy is not receiving, it's in giving. And if I can help you, that's where I have my greatest joy. And feeling that I have a purpose and, and the ability to make a difference in somebody else's life, realizing that we're all together collectively as a family, reaching our greater health and fitness potential, which we all have, well, that's my joy. And so I often do answer the calls. And if you leave a message and it takes me a, a day or two to get back to you, I apologize. It means that we were probably pretty busy. But I, I try to um, return all of our phone calls. Susan says, I received my cellar sizer six days ago. We spoke on the phone before my unit arrived. I was inquiring about my old foot injury and whether I should wear sneakers or not. You recommended the Witten sock. That's what I have on right now, which I purchased from Amazon. They arrived and so did my cellar sizer. I've worked out six days now and I love this unit, all capitalized. I had an inexpensive one that was causing me some concern and I'm so glad I purchased yours. I've done your weight loss video, 28 minutes <laughs> and different ones. I also have your Mr. Rebounder app and love this too. It's so nice how the app alerts you to an exercise change. I've always exercised, whether walking, step aerobics, or some dumbbells, but something is very possibly different with this form of exercise. I'm glad you, you thank you, Susan. It really is different. 
It creates healthy muscles. It doesn't tear them down. I already feel stronger in six days. I'm encouraging my husband to use it too as he's had bad knees and had surgery on one, one and is trying to hold off on the other one. Feel free to have him give me a call. There are specific movements we can do to target, and many of you see me do it. The supporting muscles, ligaments in the front of the knee and the lateral knee. I think this could help him. I'm looking forward to seeing how the isotonic strength exercise sizes work. <coughs> excuse me, instead of my traditional dumbbells and seeing my results after several weeks. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me on the phone. I was so surprised when you answered as I recognized your voice immediately from your videos. Also, for your recommendation, the Witten socks, my foot is doing great. God bless you and your family. Oh, Susan, the same to you and yours. Thank you. God bless. Stephanie writes, aha. I absolutely love, I'll capitalize, the solar sizer. I've had a jump sport bungee cord trampoline for about 10 years. I didn't even know they were around that long. And it was definitely time to upgrade to a more stable trampoline. After receiving the solar sizer, I oiled the springs as recommended, but they continue to be pretty noisy even after applying the household oil twice and Vaseline once. I contacted Dave Hall twice regarding this, and both times I was shocked that he actually was the one who answered the phone. He's such a super nice and helpful guy and figured something had gotten on the springs. He suggested I wash the springs with Dawn and water and start the process over again. This time I bought a new bottle of three in one oil to use. Note, note to self, only use this, all capitalized oil, exclamation points. <laughs> the first time I got on the unit after doing this, I was simply amazed at the difference it made and my sol solar sizer is now such a joy to jump on as it is so much quieter. As it breaks in, it should get quieter and quieter still. Hallelujah, she says. Thank you, thank you, Dave, for helping me get this problem solved. I am an eternal fan. Ah, Stephanie, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Kenny writes, I purchased my bouncy years ago. I was at the end of my career in the fire service, and as an old guy with injuries, I couldn't find car a cardio workout that I enjoyed and didn't require a gym-sized stationary machine. I have a very bad knee from injuries over the years and resultant surgeries, the last being an ACL replacement. After trying to just suck it up and do all the normal cardio exercises with negative and painful results, I remember my father having a small trampoline to exercise on when I was a kid. It was square and the springs broke often. After finding the videos with Dave Hall, I was pleasantly inspired and won over. Due to it being compact and travel ready, I kept it with me back and forth from home to the firehouse for the last several years that I worked. My cellar sizer helped me finish strong by being able to clear a call my last morning on duty, return to station, and walk to my car to go home, regular service retirement. I still have it in my office gym. Even when I'm fat and my knee is especially hurting, I can get a workout that makes me feel better. I've only had to replace a couple springs because I misuse it by doing extended jumping jack sessions, and that being after years of use. And yes, if you do jumping jacks, you can land on the spring and it can fracture a spring, causing it to break over time. I have I have to also state that my weight has always been over 210 pounds and has ascended up to 270 at times, and my bouncy has never once complained. <laughs> I'm 58 years old and finished this day with a 10-minute workout, health fitness bounce, a shower, got my jammies on, and I feel great. Don't hesitate getting into rebounding. The cellar sizer travels well and can be used anywhere. Thank you, Kenny. That was really sweet. I hope, I, I know, I know many of you enjoy that. Um, Justice, yes. Um, Larry says, any help for tinnitus? Tinnitus. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we, we know that the movement up and down on the solar size it helps move fluid past the stirrup, the smallest bone of the ear, rep representing a lot of our vestibular balance, and the increase of circulation can only be helpful. There's crystals in the ear. We don't understand it all. We don't understand. If it's a nerve that's been compromised somehow, um, there's um, 
various different nerve endings. Stress can uh, induce it. Wisdom teeth pressures. I, it can be any number of things. Solar size helps to increase circulation. To, we get varying reports. So I can't say yes, it's gonna help, or no, it's not gonna help. I say try it, see if it helps for you. Um, we're going to do uh, some, I call it solar size yoga movements in, in a few minutes. And I'll show you some techniques that are designed to help open up the circulation communication channels, which in and of itself could very well be help, helpful. Okay, Susan writes, hello, where do I begin? My solar size arrived mid-April 2024. That's not too long ago. I think March, April, May, June. And I have used it daily with the exception of six days when I traveled. I've noticed my body is getting stronger and my overall well-being has improved. My face looks much healthier and I'm using much less foundation on my skin. Also, my sleep is better. I'm sure that helps my skin too, however. I really believe the rebounder is helping at the cellular level that David speaks about. The skin on my arms isn't as fragile as it was when, and just knocking up against something could tear it. I'm about to turn 65 and was very concerned about that as I age, assuming it would get much worse. I believe now the cellar sizer will help eradicate this issue or at least make it better. I was concerned about a previous foot injury from six years ago. However, ever, my foot is doing great and I have had no problems. I do wear the Witten socks that Dave recommended to me. I tell you, these things are great. Um, Witten, W-H-I-T-I-N, the water socks, you can find them on Amazon. No, I don't have any interest in the company, but I love the socks. When I first began the workout, I couldn't do the sit bounce, sit down bounce, but now I can, so I know my body is getting stronger. I've been doing Brooklyn's weight loss on the Advance app and feel amazing doing this. I don't need to lose weight, but toning up is definitely happening. I so enjoy listening to Dave's YouTube channel and hearing other reviews. This is my second review, and I'm thrilled by the results that I am seeing. Thank you for all you do. And again, Susan, thank you very much for sharing that. That makes a difference. Um, she says something that, um, oh yeah, yeah, we've got a, an influencer, wonderful lady on YouTube. Her name is Rachel, and some of you may know her. Rachel called me up, and she just shared a story with me. She said, David, I get on the solar sizer, and just, you know, you can watch a show, and for 30 minutes, she says, all I do is this. This is all I do. And I'm losing inches. I'm getting muscles. I'm getting tone. I said, that's it. I said, I know, often we make it harder than we need to, but it is all weight bearing. That's flexing every single cell. So yes, you've got 75 trillion cells flexing 100 times a minute instead of a few muscle groups. I can burn a lot of calories too. Yes, Justice. Um, Alan says, what was the name of the water socks? Witten, W-H-I-T-I-N. I don't know if they're, yeah, I don't see a label on them, but W-H-I-T-I-N is in November. And they're uh, water socks, and I wear them all the time. I wear them everywhere. I think my wife is tired of me wearing them everywhere because they're so comfortable. You can go hiking in them. You can climb rocks and mountains, whatever. They're comfortable. They've got a little bit of an arch in there. They're kind of a heavy rubber underneath that's very flexible so your foot can move. And I think they're another well-kept secret. Lisa writes, hi Dave, in your most recent Facebook live event, you offered to show us some moves that we could do by lowering the balance bar. Thank you for mentioning this because we've never thought to do that. My family are longtime seller sizers and are excited to learn that we haven't tapped all of our benefits that your product has to offer. Can you please do a live workout or longer demonstration showing us the moves along with identifying which body parts are being targeted? Having these moves in our arsenal will add to our health potential, make the workouts even more fun and challenging. Adding these moves to the app would be appreciated also. Thanks. Lisa, we will work on that. I agree with you. And there are other movements that we can be adding and will be adding to the Mr. Rebounder app. We've already got 65 movements. There's a lot of movements there. 
and you can combine those movements to create your own routines as well. But we will do that. Um, reminding me of something. It'll come back. Karen writes, I have used cheap rebounders in the past only to experience aching knees, hips, and back. I decided to invest in the seller sizer and couldn't be happier. There are so many to choose from on the market, but I'm sure I made the right choice. I love the firmer bounce. I no longer ache from the stretchy mat, but feel stronger and stronger each time I use it. Dave is so kind and helpful on the phone. It's easy to tell he really cares about helping people get healthy. My husband is an engineer and works with metal. He is very impressed at the quality of the cellar sizer, even down to the quality of the balance bar. He said Dave really engineered these to be strong and sturdy so they will last. For me, I feel this was a real, the real deal. I would have paid twice the amount for such a great piece of exercise equipment. Thank you, Dave. And thank you, Karen. That was special. Jen writes, a quick note to thank you for your discussion about motivation on your live stream. It hit home. I believe sometimes we get embarrassed to admit that we don't always stay on track. I've had my cellar sizer for about three years and use it daily for the most part. I'm in the best shape of my adult life. Knee pain, gone. Foot pain, gone. The amount of stretching and toning that can happen on the cellar sizer is amazing. My only regret is not getting one sooner. <laughs> uh, Jen, thank you. And you know, I, I look at my grandkids and Justice, you know, he grew up on this too. They're very coordinated, but they're all very, very athletic. And Jesses, would you agree with me that um, Daxton can, I mean, he's awesome in basketball. He's awesome in, in uh, that um, bean toss, corn toss thing. He can just stand back anywhere and throw it right through the hole. I mean, it's, it's hard to beat him. And often I don't. He beats me. This guy's extremely coordinated. Solar size will challenge your nervous system, balance, rhythm, time, dexterity, hand eye coordination, all of these things at any age. We often think it's age related, but it really isn't. Not so much. It's, it, we're not born with that. We have to challenge it to get it. And we have to maintain, we have to keep challenging it to maintain it. And what's the good news is that we can start at any age. We get on a cellar sizer, we start to move up and down. We're moving that fluid past the stirrup, the smallest bone of our ear, representing our vestibular balance. We're challenging our proprioception, our brain nervous system. Everything is being challenged as we bounce up and down on a cellar sizer without hurting ourselves. Just, it's just fantastic. It, it's, um, you know, I just hope. I, 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 I've got to get my book done. I get that. I, um, I'm, I'm challenged a little bit because I love what this does. I love sharing with people. I love working with people, but I know that takes me away from getting some of the other things I need to get done, done too. So uh, we're working on it. Elizabeth questions, what exercise program would you recommend as a fast start to be as tone tight as possible? I'm not overweight, but I'm so not toned. I'd like to improve my skin tone and muscular tone. I have no medical problems. Okay, Elizabeth, simple. Get on the solar sizer, tighten your whole body. This is for quicker results. Tighten your whole body, focus on tightening the body. Take your hands, push them in. That'll work this area of the body too. Push them in. And then while you're tightening, bounce. Hold everything tight. Then release, I mean, hold it tight for 10, 15 seconds, then release for a few moments. So you get that circulation, then do it again. And that, that is, it just creates definition and tone all over the body. Yes, Justice. Um, Shuri asks, when we bounce up and down, should we be making sure our feet leave the mat? No, you don't need to leave the mat. When you leave the mat, depending on what you're doing, you really don't need to leave the mat much at all. In fact, floating does nothing. You're just floating. And floating's fun, but you're just floating. The body's not doing anything. It's just floating. <laughs> That's for tricks. That's for big trampolines. Um, on the solar sizer, when you're just up to an inch 
to two above the mat. Most of the work's gonna be in the springs and the mat. That's where the cells are expanding and contracting very quickly, over a hundred times a minute, much more intense. And that's where we're gonna get the benefits. Um, if you wanna jump high occasionally, you can, but it's not doing a lot for fitness. It's just fun. <laughs> Shelly writes, I'm eagerly awaiting my cellar and have already subscribed to Mr. Rebounder. I'm wondering what your recommendation is for starting out. Shall I start at the beginner and just work my way through each routine? That's good on the Mr. Rebounder app. Should I do a routine more than once? And yes, you can until you feel comfortable enough to move forward. I'm just curious as you're suggesting for the best use of the app as a newbie. And also, if you go to sellersize.com forward slash user guide, one word, the second to the last page gives a chart. It's in the welcome letter that comes with every seller sizer. It gives a chart on how to begin the first, second, third, and fourth week. So that will give you some suggestions too. So look for that welcome letter in your unit. Paula writes, will seller sizing help with tendonitis? My elbow has started to hurt. Thank you for all your two, Dave. Yes, Paul, I've been there, relate to that. And yes, we've talked about the little uh, uh, power ball, the um, Dyna ball, Dynaflex. You can get them on Amazon. It's a little gyro ball. You get the gyro ball going, and then what you've, you've got that going, you, you move up and down doing uh, these little arm movements as you keep it going. And that really seems to work out that, uh, those issues, and it, it did wonders for me. Akama writes, just started rebounding. Shoulder head pain is present after using. I've only stayed in the baby health baths. Do we continue to bounce through pain or break until pain is gone? It took about four days to subside. I waited until it was gone to begin again. Is this the correct way? And Akama, that's a great, that's a great question. The movement up and down on the cellar size that can expose weaknesses. It's very, been very helpful at that. So you want to listen to your body. Sometimes it may require doctor intervention, but usually that movement up and down, just don't do it too long. Start off gently. It takes about two to three weeks for the connective tissue surrounding the brain and internal organs to start to lift, tighten, and tone because it's all weight bearing from the inside out. Initially, when we start to move up and down, the brain is kind of loose in the skull, it's settled. And we move up and down, the brain is moving up and down too. If we do too much, then we can get a headache. So it takes a little bit of time, short periods of time, several times a day can help the body adapt faster with less discomfort as it's adapting. In two to three weeks, generally everything is all firmed up and you don't notice that problem anymore. That's one of the reasons boxers do a lot of jump roping, by the way. The jarring effect of hitting the ground helps to strengthen the connective tissue surrounding the brain so when they get hit in the head, the brain doesn't crash against the skull, causing a knockout. Well, everything starts to lift, tighten, and tone from the inside out. A lady wrote me a beautiful review. She said, David, as I was hitting midlife, I felt like everything was headed south. Now that I've been cellar sizing, I feel like everything's headed north again. And there's a lot of truth to that. Yes, Justice. Anna says, can a cellar sizer help with neuropathy? Yeah, good question. We've had people that have claimed that it has um, after 10, 15, 20 minutes of cellar sizing. So it was a longer extended period of time. We know circulation is critical. And we know that's the weakest well, neuropathies in the, the feet, in the, in the hands. Those are the weaker areas of circulation in the body because of the furthest area from the heart. So when we're cellar sizing, we're helping to pump with the heart. As we pump with the heart, we can help increase that circulation. As we improve the circulation, very often those issues can fade away. To what degree? We don't know. And, you know it's, it's a personal basis. But again, um, try it, see how it works. You can also massage your feet with your fingers after a cellar size session or even before, and then get any blockages that might be in that in the lower extremities, helping to increase that circulation to reduce inflammation and, and promote uh, oxygen and nutrients to those areas. Lila writes, Aloha Dave. I just recently found you in the intelligent teachings you've been so kindly enthusiastically sharing for 30 plus years. I'm brand new to rebounding. My body got all wacky post-menopause five years now. 
I am looking to lighten, strengthen, and rebalance my everything. I am currently taking bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, which was a huge reach for this naturalist girl, but it has helped massively. Still, my goal is to have my body heal and rebalance without the need for HRT. I saw in your last live that you answered a question about menopause, weight loss, and that you recommended a Jamba run. I'm guessing also consistent daily rebounding at least 10 plus minutes per day. Any additional thoughts or actions to help rebalance hormones post-menopause? Mahalo from Hawaii. And thyroid, yeah, we're going to do um, a movement in a moment for the neck, but we can also, it, the solar side is working the entire endocrine system. So as we're moving up and down, everything is gently expanding and contracting. So doing different movements on it can help create more pressure changes to certain areas of the body that can help stimulate and improve circulation to those areas. So again, it's different movements. When I do the hip rock and I drop the right shoulder and you, you see me do it, that pumping action can be extremely helpful um, for all kinds of areas and functions of the body. And of course, the twisting is the second most important physical activity I teach on it. Irene writes, recommended exercises for strong legs, please. Oh, um, was it the last move? Last, I think last month I, I did talk about leg, leg strength and some of the techniques, especially the, the squatting movement where you can squat down and jump up and squat down again. You want to look for those because that will build up the strength of the knees and, and the legs overall. Don't have a lot of stamina due to osteoporosis and emphysema. Okay, we want to stretch the lungs too. That's one routine I'll probably share at the, at the end. I've been using my solar sizer on and off for about four or so years and love it. Just not very disciplined. I have a lot of trouble getting into high vehicles and also some high stairs, stairs and steps and really struggle getting up from a crouch or kneeling position. I do jog on the rebounder, but my muscles just don't seem to get any stronger to any great degree. Any suggestions appreciated. And that's, that's why I'm here. Those things, those things are important. So um, again, baby bounce, health bounce, lift the heels up and down, pump the calf muscle, increase that circulation, hip rock, warm up, work on the hips, thighs, knees, jamba walk, build up capillaries. You know, you can jamba run as well that's going to that's just going to work at strengthening all that whole area of the body um, and then jogging of course you can do things like that as well um, body has to get stronger when you challenge it that's that's how it works what if you have piriformis syndrome a rare condition that occurs when the piriformis muscle in the buttocks presses on the sciatic nerve causing pain and other symptoms I need to know how to fix this. I already, ha I already have it. I don't need to know what to do to prevent it. <laughs> well, I do need to know, but right now I need to know how to fix it and make it go away. Thanks, Vicki. Okay, so a lot of these things, and again, I have to say, um, although I work with doctors, I am not a doctor, so consult with your doctor if you have medical issues and conditions that you need help with. I'm happy to consult with your doctor as well. But this movement here where you're rocking side to side, if you lift your shoulders up and down, see that stretch, you get that little bit of stretch. You want to think high. You want to lift your, your chest up as you rock side to side, that movement. And then we're going to do this gentle twist. Okay, now the twist that's gonna target more this area is not here. This is fine, this is a great, Second most important activity I think we can do. But to target more that, all the muscles through the buttocks and through the thigh um, and the upper thigh as well, is where those nerves go through, is to um, do the twist, but then keep the waist straight ahead. And then just twist while you're gently bouncing in the hip socket area. That has a tendency to be extremely helpful in a lot of those conditions as it releases the stress and tension on the nerves. Uh, I wouldn't do any sit and bounces for a while. 
Okay, how does it help with plantar fasciitis? We get that all the time. And I want you to read some of the customer reviews. Please look at the customer reviews on our website. Incredible stories of people that had plantar fasciitis for years. And, and when they first got on the solar sizer, it felt like it was getting worse. Probably was, at least the symptoms. But the results were getting better. Here's why. When we, when we have the, the fascia, our feet are supposed to be flexible and we wear shoes and we don't get a lot of activity and then we do something more strenuous and then we tear, we pull the fascia under the foot and that loses circulation, it's, it, it's painful. Um, I have one gentleman who used to carry a golf ball around in his pocket and he'd put it down and he'd roll his foot over it regularly because he, it, it was so painful. It would build up the pain during the day and that would relieve it. Well, on the cellar sizer, in fact, I just had this, this question again earlier today. On the cellar sizer, as we start to move up and down, I suggest people do it barefoot, socks, or soft-soled slippers, like the Witten, um, because we want the foot to become more flexible. But if we have any damage in the fashion and we first start to cellar size, well, that area may be a little tight and the cellar sizer wants it to be loose because it wants the foot to move. But if it's restricted or been compromised and now we're moving it, it may be a little uncomfortable initially. I don't know anybody who after a month to two months of cellar sizing didn't have remarkable results because the cells are always replicating, they're replacing themselves. And as we do these different movements on the cellar sizer, the foot will start to flex to your natural alignment. And as it does, it becomes more flexible. And then you can go out and enjoy your activities again. And there's a great customer review I shared with somebody earlier today about somebody who, who had called me up because he was nervous. He, he knew I had talked about this previously, but he was still nervous about it because it seemed to be getting worse. He continued to cellar size though, and within a short period of time, he wrote me th saying that, hey, it's gone. It's now gone. And I, I thank him for, for sharing that with me. But yeah, that can be great. Um, wow. Abigail, I haven't heard from Abigail for a long time. If one is being told they are bone on bone in the hip and need hip replacement, can cellar sizer help? Lots of pain there too. Abigail, you should give me a call. Um, yeah, it can be very helpful. We have to strengthen the supporting muscles, ligaments around the hip. And there are specific gentle movements we do, such as the baby bounce. And that's going to warm up the tissue. And then the hip rock, side to side, take your fingertips, stick them underneath your hip, and just feel how much those muscles are working. That's going to start to increase flexibility and strength in the hip area. The gentle twist will help increase circulation, reduce inflammation, and strengthen. That's pumping the lymph system as well. And then we can start eventually doing movements like this. Well, we're hopping side to side, so we're working the hips, the thighs, and the knees. And then, um, and then you know, there's a few other movements that we teach, but uh, feel free to give me a call. Blue Bonnet writes, how does it work with those that have lymphedema? Well, circulation again. The lymphatic system holds a negative pressure, so movement creates suction. As we move up and down, millions of one-way valves start sucking, and they start to pull that circulation through the tissue spaces of the body. It's the movement up and down. It takes a few minutes to prime the body, but as we start to move up and down, and millions of these one-way valves all throughout the body start sucking, as, as we continue to do it, remember we, got, we have the resistance release, resistance release, and that's what pumps that circulation um, and can help with those issues. Um, there are specific movements we can do depending on what area of the body it's in as well. Cynthia writes, good rebounding help with hand tremors. Well, those nerves, um, again, Yes, but will it with you? I don't know. It can, it can vary. 
Again, we want to deal with the, the nervous system and opening up the circulation through the body, taking pressure off the nerves. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's key. What is the strength mounts? Okay, well, that's the one I just did a moment ago. If somebody wants to get um, stronger, they, it's an isometric for toning. So we're, we're holding the body, we're resistance, and then we're bouncing. And so the resistance is isometric, the extra weight is isotonic, and so we start to build up m muscle mass, but there's, there's other ways of doing it too. I used to teach a program jumping high, but it really doesn't do much. And that's, uh, so I don't, I don't ever do that. I haven't done that in yeah, many years, just for demonstration purposes. But um, yeah, the tightening and toning and then bouncing is really what's gonna make that, make that difference. All right, well, we made it to our program. Um, we're going to go through what this is designed to do tonight is to teach us and help. I want to explain some of the nuances or ways that you can actually get the benefit from some of these different movements and things that we want to, to be aware of. Um, and I mentioned Christy, Christy, I talked to Christy earlier today. She said, I want something that's fun. And she said, that looks like so much fun. Christy, it is fun. That's why we don't, we don't work out, we play in. But um, let's start with the, uh, hmm. Okay, we're gonna start with the baby, or in fact, I'll, I don't know if you can see those. I can't make that bigger, can I? All right, so it's gonna be the baby health bounce to begin with. And as we're doing the baby health bounce, the things I want you to be aware of is as you're warming up the body this time, there's different ways of doing this. If you're getting ready to go to sleep at night, you just want to relax everything and just get some massage to get rid of the stress and the tension in the body. It's very relaxing. But what I want to do right now um, as part of the program for the, for the health bounce is as we're moving up and down, which is warming up the tissue, I want to work on proper alignment. And, and that's in the back too. So when we start this, I want you to lift your chest up high and turn your shoulders out or just kind of roll, roll out to the back a little bit. Pull your chin in so that we can work on developing proper alignment in the back. And it's the muscles that support the back. And there's very few exercises that people are doing that it's designed to help strengthen the natural alignment in the back. And we can go and we can go to a chiropractor and a chiropractor, and I love them, um, they make the, their adjustment, but the muscles are the culprit, the problem, because they're not used to the new alignment. And so over time, those muscles just pull you back out of alignment and they go readjust you again. It's gonna be an ongoing problem. The chiropractors that I work with, and we work with lots of them, they will make an adjustment and then they'll have their patient get on the cellular side and gently bounce up and down. Now the movement up and down flexes the muscles around the new alignment and that's great. So we can help that process by, by holding up. I'm gonna move this a little closer. Right. One of the things I'm gonna do is make that print darker so I can see it easier. All right, so, so we're going to do the health of the baby bounce warm up, and let's do that for a month, a month, for a minute. <laughs> and I don't think I really need to use that thing here, but just rolling the shoulders back, gently bouncing up and down. And no music today. Um, so again, just pull that chin in a little bit. We're gonna just bounce up and down like this. You don't have to overdo it. You don't wanna pinch a nerve. This is a gradual process. We do it little by little until we develop the flexibility and the strength of posture. 
And for all the other movements we're going to be doing, it's, it's still important that we have good posture while we're doing it. So this one here is helping to strengthen. And again, if you feel these muscles here, you can feel how much work they're doing. You, you're just working them in the proper alignment now. And that's important. Okay, the next one is going to be the neck massage. And with that one, as we take our fingertips, we're going to be pushing into the vertebral joints of the neck, doing little circular movements. So these circular movements are like this, just kind of pushing in to the neck. You can move the neck around a little bit. You're working on the muscles. And as you move up and down, we're moving fluid up and down. And that's one of the advantages of the cellar is every cell is still doing this. All we're doing is taking advantage of the movement and helping to push that fluid between the vertebral joints to the disc. Now, as we work our way up toward the atlas, where the skull rests right up here in the first vertebrae, that area, we can push underneath there and help to pull, push that circulation in. And if you have tinnitus or tendonitis, tinnitus, um, you may feel those, um, that ringing going up or down or, or releasing. Okay, now we turn the head, just turn the head and turn, okay, this way. <laughs> and as you turn your head, you want to stretch the neck just a little bit. And you can, if you have any tightness in the neck, you may feel that. You just turn and hold it. Just hold it and let this, the bouncing loosen the tension. You don't need to overstretch it. In fact, it's not a good idea to do that with the neck. You want to just get to the point where you feel a little bit of resistance and then gently bounce. And remember, the movement you feel on the shoulder here, that same movement is occurring at the cellular level all within the neck and the fashion, all of that tissue, as you increase circulation as well. So we've just helped to increase circulation. Now we're helping to to create the stretch in the neck as we do this. And normally I would do it for shorter periods of time, but repetitions, but that's, that's it. Now we're going to do the same th th thing to the other side. And then just kind of think in terms of moving your chin over your shoulder and, and just gently bouncing. The neat thing about this is if we, if we really do do this, you begin to feel healthier. Your neck begins to feel more flexible, more relaxed. And that stress and tension, which as it builds up, that can also create that ringing. We want to open that whole area up. And like I said, normally I wouldn't do it this long on each side, but and you can take your fingers and you can feel those areas and help massage it at the same time. Absolutely. Okay, now we're going to do the head roll. And just gently, just relax it. Feel it in the front, over the side, and then in the back. And then just keep moving it around. So this is what we're doing tonight. Just helping to loosen up the neck. You can feel it, certain areas of the neck that might be a little tighter, and you can work those a little bit. Yes, Justice. Roger says, um, I have a hernia about four, four horizontal from my belly button. Is it okay to use the cellar sizer? If you do the sit and bounce, you can actually push in on that area. And as you gently tilt backwards a little bit, you can help strengthen the muscle around that wall but it, uh, you're just pushing in to give it the additional support. We've had people that have had hernias that, um, okay, now we're going to, um, that were fresh hernias that were able to help them close up. Okay, so bending the neck down, just drop the head, and you're going to get a little pull. You might get a little pull if you're, if you're tight. Um, in the back of the head, but okay. 
Now, as you lift your body and then tilt your head, you might be able to be sensitive to getting stretched all along the spinal column. And in the shoulder blades, I'm feeling a little bit in the, the scapula area. And we're going to deal with that area too. Then what's happening, you're holding the position, but the cells aren't. The cells are still expanding and contracting. So it's almost as if you're doing a whole bunch of these, but you're not. You're letting the movement up and down do that for you. And I like to open my mouth a little bit on this one so I don't overstretch the neck. Okay, now this one, we want to lift the head up and gently, just gentle stretch. Don't overstretch on this one. Because you, <laughs> depending on how much space you have between the vertebral joints and the neck, you could irritate a nerve. Don't do that. Just go very gentle. It's a gentle, just a gentle pulling and dropping. And if you feel just a little tightness in there, you can work on that tight area. And then the same thing on the other side. This movement has a lot of advantages, but it can also irritate a nerve and set you back a couple days if you're not careful. So. This is our, our yoga movement, cellar side yoga for the, for the neck and the shoulders. It can help create that stretch here, which can help release that tension. I was talking to somebody on the phone about that one today, too. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and push again. We've opened things up a little bit. Well, let's push a little more fluid between the vertebral joints to those discs. And again, we're doing those little circular movements. And this gentle, I didn't include this one, but the gentle massaging, the clavicle area here, kind of pushing down, and massaging can help with lymphatic circulation, thyroid, the larynx. It's just, it's just helpful as well. And as you move and push up by that atlas, you can sometimes feel yourself opening up the pressure that has a tendency to, to build up in that area. Okay, so this one here, you hook under, pull the shoulder to your chin. We're working the scapula and we're working the shoulder. And when we're doing that, we can, we can turn our body a little bit, just like that, so that we can get some more stretch rather than just there, you just turn a little bit. And that, that extra turn can really help stretch the muscles in the shoulder. Now, the next day, and then we do the other side. The next day, you may feel a little soreness in that area. You may feel a little discomfiture. Well, you've worked a little bit. But the neat thing about cellular size, which is such a blessing, is that you're not, it's hard to damage yourself on a cellular sizer. It's gentle. It's not overstretching. You're not, you know, putting weights on your body that can, can compromise it. Okay, on this one here, if, as you see it on his back, you just want to kind of grab those elbows. And that's going to work the, the shoulders and the arms as well. So you just kind of grab those, gently bounce up and down. You can move your shoulders forward a little bit and then back. Just forward, as you move the forward, forward, you can feel that stretch in this area of the body, which not a lot of exercises are doing. Then focus, you know, change to the other side, and if one shoulder is a little tighter than the other, you may feel that. And that's the area you probably want to work a little bit more. But again, just kind of bounce up and down. 
move the shoulders back, move them forward a little bit if you can. And you don't have to grab your elbow. You can grab your forearm. If that's too tight, then just grab your forearm or your wrist and, and just work up to it. Okay, this one I didn't come prepared for. I wanted to show it though. All right, this you can grab a belt. I don't have a belt on me. Forgot to get that. This is basically taking a belt or something you can hold on to. And as you're bouncing up and down, you can pull on that rope. So you pull it up. So you help to increase the flexibility of your hand. So you, it creeps up your, your back and that, that helps to open up. The, the shoulder area as well. So we would do that on one side and then we would switch. We would do that on, another, on, the, on the other side. And so that's a great technique. And since I didn't warn any of us beforehand, none of us can do that one right now. <laughs> but but if, uh, if you have a belt, you can do it. And, and that, that's a great technique for increasing a, a, an area of the shoulder flexibility that most people don't even address. And it, it can be really freeing um, of the shoulder itself. Okay, so now we're going to deal with a rotator cuff and that's um, for people that have shoulder issues to begin with. We're holding the elbow straight ahead and you can feel those muscles as they are flexing. You're massaging the shoulders. You're pumping circulation. All the cell tissue is gently doing this and it's in this position straight ahead. And then we do repetitions of this. We have a whole routine on the Mr. Rebounder app that takes you through a whole workout doing all of these different movements. But then we lift it up over our head and just, just hold the position and let the solarizer do the moving, the, the stretching, the movement at the cellular level. And it's just very gentle. And you can breathe and lift up a little bit. You might hear some relief in there as you do that. And then just out to the side and do that for about 30 seconds. Now often I will do it in, in fact, in the routine that we have, we do it front, top, back. We, we're rotating on a faster pace. Yes, Justice. Um, Larry Laura says, do you flat resistant band work in place of belts? Does the what? Like a, Elastic band? Uh, a flat resistant band. <laughs> oh yeah. Absolutely. You bet. Okay, now this one here, we're going to open up the vertebral uh, joints in the back. And this is one for, with uh, scoliosis um, or any back issues because it stretches the muscle. So we're elbows up and we're tilting to the side. <laughs> so we want to lift our body up and then tilt until we can feel a little stretch. When you feel that stretch, hold the position gently bounce up and down and that's helping to i mean if you're doing it lifting up and doing it do you have any tightness in the psoas muscle as well or or in in the back you may feel that and that's that's great you want to create that lift and then gently bounce um, because it's gentle And a lot of these results you'll feel after the, well, you probably feel it after the first session, but the benefits you, you may feel quite a bit after the third, fourth, fifth session. So again, lifting up, leaning, stretching here. It opens up as you lift and you can kind of move a little bit just to feel where any tightness is in those muscles and then gently bounce. Okay, so now we're gonna take the foot, cross it in front. So if you have any tightness in the lower back, this movement here can really help to open up that, that whole lower back. I used to feel it there and I don't feel much now at all, but it's a good thing, so it works. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we lift up, over, and then take the foot and cross it in front. Got 
I get in sync with him. There we go. What we like to do is we, we watch a sh television show, we turn on the app, if we have the phone holder we have it right in front of us. Okay, now let's loosen up the vertebrae, loosen up those muscles. As we continue to pump and increase circulation. That's great, you've heard me say this one. This is the number one or number two. <laughs> most important movement. I think we can do the baby bounce thing the most. But this one here, just back, digestion, elimination, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, etc. Okay, now this one's good. This is a great movement. You're going to bend over, grab the frame, tilt backwards. And as you tilt backwards, feel the stretch in the shoulders and the back. Can you tell me when that was over, Justice? Thank you. Okay, so now, now what we do is as we're back here, we lean over to feel stretch in the hamstring. Okay, so you lean over and lift your, your toe up a little bit. And then you can bounce because it offers a little more stretch. But you can feel that you're really kind of focusing on tilting. You feel that in the back, in the. Okay, and then we do the same thing on the other side. So I'll do it this way. So it's just like this. And you can move around a little bit just to. Feel where you feel that stretch. I can feel it in my hips. And it's a good feeling, lower back. And a little bit in the muscles there. There's another technique I'm going to show you that is not on the app. Just a minute. And that's for the calf muscles. How are we doing, Justice? Good, and now it's full. Okay. All right, now we want to end up balancing it just Loosening it all up again, circulation. Okay, and then I want to show you one for the calf muscle that I didn't show. That's really helpful for stretching also. Okay, so, so this one here, I'm just going to pull this over here. And for the calf muscles, if you have a table or something you can lean up against, you want to take and take your, your foot and really lean forward and then just gently bounce for the calf muscle. And that's, there's a lot of nerves that go through that area. And I think that tension restriction of circulation can compromise our health as well. We want a good pump in the calf muscle. So we want, we want the calf muscle to be flexible, but also strong. So when we do walk during the day, we can help improve circulation. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Yes, Justice. Do you want this as a routine? I was just doing it to show it as um, more teaching of the different movements. But if you want me to do, I can definitely add this as a routine. We already have a routine that does go through the stretching. The purpose of this one wasn't so, I mean, it is a kind of a routine, but it, if you want it, we can do that. Um, it was more for instruction about how to get the proper form so that we can, we can get the, the good benefits when we're doing the other program or the other routine. But um, I could label it instructional, I suppose, and, and put that on the app. Um, but there, there is a whole good routine on the app 
that really goes through and does a lot of all those different stretches and then some. But um, that should, you should feel better. I mean, to, you know, a good test, because you should have done it ahead of time, is to go down and just see how easy it is to, you know, touch your hands to the floor and then stand up again. I mean, if it's, if you feel that stretch, you feel looser, then, then we've accomplished something. So, um, thank you. If you think this has any value to others, people that you care about, please share it. Um, I want to thank you for all your support. Mr. Rebounder app, we had, yes, Justice, go ahead. Uh, Joanne says, how much is the app subscri subscription in Australia? Oh, well, it, it's in USD dollars, so I, you'd have to get a converter on that. It might do that naturally on our website. Sometimes it's, it's been known to do that. Um, but it's US, normally the app, Mr. Rebounder app, and it's, there's a lot to this app. There really is. Um, it's normally $89.95 for a full year. That's not bad, but it's on sale right now for $49.95. It's $4 a month, you know, a little over $4 a month. And for everybody who is listening, who gets in on the app at the, the current price, the discount price, your costs will never go up for as long as you maintain the app. So you'll keep it at the $49.95, and, that's, uh, and we'll continue to add to it. We, we are doing more additions now. And it's, um, it's a fun program because, again, what we do is we go through, if I were to pick one of the routines in the, uh, let's say we're done here. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> these are all my workouts that I've, I've put together, um, various different programs. But if we were to go to one of the um, routines, what we will do is we'll pick a routine and let's see, advanced calisthenics, for example, we'll turn something on, we'll, we'll be watching the television program We'll use our, our little phone holder and we'll put it on the balance bar and we turn on our phone and we watch the show, the program, and when we start the program, as it goes through it, um, it has a little, for some reason the sound's not working. Oh, probably not, probably need to turn the sound up on the TV. But it will ding in between each movement. So you go, I mean, you, got, you can pick whatever, you got 35 different background screens. If you wanna be at the beach in the mountains by a lake in the forest, you've got 35 different routine and backgrounds that, uh, that you can pick. But it will go through the various different programs, and that's a little more advanced, but, and catch your breath and then that's their stomach run. So you, you go through the whole routine. That's kick outs and um, waist. And when you're done, it records it in your, as, um, in your system as a congratulations. I mean, your, your achievements. Um, it just adds to them as you continue to go through it. But uh, it's a fun app. And you can download it for free and then to subscribe to, to open up all of its features is a subscription, but it gives you a little example or demo that you can see if you like it too. You can change the avatar that was a male avatar. You can turn it to a female avatar. If you have kids and you're concerned about their health and well-being, if they're spending too much time on the computer or on the couch and not getting enough exercise, you can have them become a solar sized potato every night, turn on the app, say you can watch your show as long as you're doing one of these routines. And then on the Mr. Rebound app for, for, for kids, you know, we just, just because we'll, we'll, we plan on doing more of them, but you can um, go to, hold on, home, there we go. Okay, so when you go to account info, 
and select an avatar, one of the avatars for kids that you can select and save. When I go back to the routine and okay, saved, this is an advanced movement, but now when I go back, I just changed it so that when I start, you've got a little space cadet and you can pick a male or a female space cadet and, and then they, they go through the different you know, movements as well. So. The, you can make adjustments all over this thing. It's, the whole purpose of this is to help create a program that's going to work for you based upon what your goals and fitness objectives are and to do it in a way that it's convenient for you as well as fun. And we and my family, we all like to watch a show while we're doing the app and it will ding in between each movement so you don't have to listen to the music. You mute the music, you watch the show ding, See the next movement, watch the show. The time just flies by, you're getting a great workout and fitness program and you're still enjoying the show. It just becomes a kind of a habit. Thank you again. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Have a great 4th of July. Um, I appreciate all of your support. Please, again, if there's anything I can do to help, please call and let me know. I'm glad to be a part and thank you for being a part of the Seller Size family for all your incredible support and it has been it's been humbling and, and remarkable, and I've been very privileged and, and thankful for being a part. So thank you. You be well.